Okay, we are live, and we are, in fact, live early. We're going to have a little bit of a pregame show. We're going to talk about signet rings and other things, other cool stuff. So there's some signet rings on the screen, and we're going to talk about that. And I'm thinking about it, getting an 18-karat gold unit to, uh, to go with my stunner, to go with my gold stunner that's on the bench right now. It's on the bench today with a DuPont pen next to it and a faux pay bracelet in the background. See that? How do you like that? So, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to talk about that. And right now I'm wearing my uncle's Navy ring. He gave to me like 50 years ago. I had a cool uncle that gave me this and let's do a close up of that Navy ring. <clears throat> So that's a heavy use sterling silver navy ring. So just in case I do a right cross, right? That'll that'll have a little bit of percussion to that. And so and it kind of goes with the titanium. It kind of complements the titanium. What do you guys think about that? And I had a couple of comments in here before the show started. Bree said super cool. I guess she was talking about the uh concept of the signet rings and some ladies do wear signet rings it's mainly a man thing but we'll talk about that and blue says hi kyle says hello guys stig's in the house cheers lady brianna blue and mr submariner and uh, they're all saying hello to each other so blue's in the house so <clears throat> so yeah i'm thinking about a signet ring what do you guys think what do you guys think about a signet ring and i'm thinking about getting one of this style. I like this style and I'm thinking about having the Bitcoin B engraved on it and maybe a wrench to signify the wrench gang, maybe a Bitcoin B and a wrench. And I talked to Steve. I think Steve can, can, uh, can arrange for all this. And so <clears throat> I'm going to measure, I got to decide which finger to wear it on too, because traditionally it's been the pinky finger on the opposite hand from your dominant hand my dominant hand is my left hand so it'd be on the right which is good so on the pinky here right but i think it would be more comfortable for me to wear it on the ring finger and more protected from you know just tapping it when you put your hand down it's on the end it's always going to hit right so i'm thinking maybe the ring finger some people do wear them on the ring finger so I'm looking for some advice, folks. If I get a, if I get one of those, a signet ring, what do you think? Which finger should I wear it on? And it would be 18 karat yellow gold to go with the stunner, to go with the stunner. What do you guys think about that? Leslie is in the house. Do you wear any rings, Leslie? Do you wear any? Kyle, do you wear a ring? Does anybody blue? Does anybody wear a ring anymore? I normally don't wear them, but I'm, I'm just thinking about starting to wear them. Uh, and I'm not sure why, but I just think, well, first of all, I've got this kind of cool Navy ring that my uncle gave me 50 years ago. And, um, so it's just been sitting right. I almost never wore it, but it fits me perfectly. It like, like it was made for me. And so I'm thinking maybe I should wear it. I'm thinking maybe I should wear it. And then I was thinking, okay, if I'm going to wear this, when I have the titanium heavy use piece on wrist, let's take a look at that. When I have that stunner on wrist, I need something to kind of go with the titanium and the sterling silver kind of really complements it nicely. So I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking, okay, if I'm going to wear this with the titanium stunner, I need something to wear with the, the 18 karat gold stunner, the SBGY002. I need something in 18 karat yellow gold to go with that. So there... I started thinking about the signet ring. What do you think about that? A signet ring. And maybe we need something like that for wrench members. Maybe wrench members need to have a special signet ring to signify that they're VIPs. Derek's in the house. Craig, is Steve calling in soon? Is Steve doing a show anytime? <laughs> I hope so. I invited him to call in. He says he's been busy as a one-arm paper hanger. He did say that he'll be able to... Um, 
uh, order me a, uh, a signet ring if I get the right size and all that. He'll be able to help me out with that. Uh, but how soon he'll be able to go on a show? That's a good question. And Kyle says, normally I don't, but Brett gave me one that I wear from time to time. Okay, do tell. What, what ring did Brett give you? And what finger do you wear it on? And does Brett uh, wear a ring? Uh, let us know. Let us know if any of you wear a ring. By the way, I got kicked out of the horology talk group. They gave me the axe. Whoosh, gone, right? I had the tenacity to, to explain to them that some of the watches that they were talking about were just downright ugly and silly and that they should get something much more attractive to wear. And they couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle the truth. And so that's how that whole thing went down. And uh, I, I, should, I, I, I should say that um, the, the big issue is we have a little bit of a failure to communicate sometimes. A little bit of a failure to communicate. Let's see if I have a little thing here. What we've got here is failure to communicate. What we've got here is failure to communicate so yeah that's what we've got we've got a little failure to uh to communicate um some of these people in the forums they don't understand that they are buying they're putting money in ugly watches they don't understand and they should want something that is attractive they should want something that's attractive triforce rich in the house do you think you got kicked out for posting your OO2 in every thread, no matter the context? <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> no, I think it's mainly that I I called, well, I know it's because I called some of their watches ugly because they attacked me vehemently for it. Yeah, so there's that too. But yeah, I posted the OO2 a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to get, I'm trying to help them get the message, right? They're not getting the message. They keep buying these ugly watches when there are attractive watches out there that they can buy. And they're a little bit slow on the uptake. They're a little bit slow. So um, maybe they'll maybe they'll get it. Um, let me go back here. I got another one that I can play. This is what they they say when they see the OO2. This, this is what people say when they see the OO2. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. So yeah, that's what they say when they see the um, when they see the uh, the OO2. And here's another thing. Here's this young lady. Shortly after we were on a beautiful boat, and shortly after she saw the OO2, this is what she said. What? I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow, this is really pretty. Yeah, that's what she said. That that was her reaction to the OO2. So. I mean, you know, I can't really make this stuff up, folks. I had another one here. Um, if you don't believe those, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, how about this? This was live on the show the other day, okay? Can't make this stuff up. Listen to this. Okay, the Triforce Rich says, what does Ryan think of the OO2? Should he get close? He's talking about this watch. This is the SBGY <laughs> OO2 Grand Seiko. This is a... Grand Seiko is a, a line that competes with Rolex. It's mm -hmm. their high-end line. Steve at Little Treasury Jewelers is where this came from. He's over in Gambrels, Maryland. He's a destination jeweler. Mm. And so they want you to take a look at the at the SBGY mm -hmm. 002, and mm -hmm. they, they, they want your opinion oh, yeah. on it. See, this is a deployant class. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Doesn't It, it and looks so, like it. Uh -huh. so, and it fits kind of trim to the wrist it and then you notice that second hand see yeah. how it doesn't click yeah it yeah, just yeah. smooths around oh it's yeah it's called the spring nice. drive uh -huh. there's no battery in there but there's a spring in there that releases the energy and then drives the 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 second hand like that oh, okay it's beautiful so there you go he said it's beautiful i like it two nicely thumb, done two two thumbs up on the question from triforce yeah, that's a beautiful there watch. you go okay <laughs> well i mean tell me i mean am i making this stuff up Tell me, tell me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is, this is real stuff, right? And, you know, some of those guys that uh, bought the ugly watches, you know, it's like, I kind of pity those guys. But I pity the fool. But I pity the fool. Yeah, so that's what we do. We pity those guys. Okay, let's get back to the comments here. We're having enough, too much fun here. Um, so Kyle is laughing. 
computer service laughing. Um, and Craig finally got booted. Yeah, booted big time. And so uh, Craig busting out the sense of humor, Triforce Rich in the house. Stunner alert. Yeah, stunner. Absolutely stunner alert. That's right. That's right. Stunner alert. Looked like he was being polite, Craig. Who was being polite? Oh, you think he didn't mean that it was a stunner? No, I think he was, when he saw it, he kind of reacted. I, I think he thought that the 002 was a stunner. I, I think that was legit. I, I don't think he, um, you know, normally if somebody sees something like that and then they don't like it, they'd probably say something like, well, you know, I'm not really a watch person. I don't really know much about them or something like that. You know, his reaction, I think, was pure. I think it was like, wow, this thing is gorgeous. I mean, and people that don't know anything about watches that see the 002, they just know that it is absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah. By the way, Craig, found my car and stepped up Lexus GS350 F Sport. Enjoy it a ton. You really need to step up into Lexus. Grab the Prius. Oh, I've had several Lexus. Yeah, they're, they're very good, very good vehicles. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you should send us a picture. Good, 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 good. A GS350. Yeah, I'd like to see a, a picture. I had a GS300. I had a 1999 uh, GS300 with the inline six cylinder. That was a great car. Uh, and so my ex-wife has the car and she loved it. We bought that. And uh, I, I had a, at the time I had a 2000, not, not 2000, what I'm saying. I had a 1990 uh, LS, uh, LS 400, 1990 LS 400. And then we bought the 1999 GS a 300. And then I bought a 2002 LS 430. So yeah, so those are the, the Lexi that I've owned. Okay. Uh, pretty the fool that buy oversized, overpriced, ugly steel watches with integral bracelets. Good point. Nice choice, Rich. Cool car. Yes. Um, I sent in a pic of the ring Brett gave me that I don't wear that often. Okay, we'll take a look at it. I sent the pic into you. Okay, what's up, group Kyle? I'm working out right now. I can't send, but Kyle can. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, those watches that are too big. <clears throat> You know, it's just not a, it's not a good thing. It's too big. Yeah. So. This is too big. Yeah. This is just too big. Yeah. So you, you don't want to go with the watches that are too big. You want to go with something like the 002. The You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. Yeah. So that's what you want to do. You want to go with the beautiful beautiful watches and so and, I, and i'm trying to i'm trying to be clear with these people that this is the way you okay i'm going to start up the spring drive i'm going to wind it and you're going to see there right at the beginning it goes about double speed for maybe four seconds or so and then it slows down once the regulator kicks in and then you get that smooth flow of the spring drive second hand that just just mesmerizing and then you can have that with a i'm here with the lovely lady brianna and we just did a couple of other videos but we're gonna do one quick one talking just about the faux pay bracelet i posted a photo of me wearing the faux pay i got it at little treasury and you know steve has has worn the faux pay bracelet for about three or four years and they hold up extremely well that was carlos that was carlos that's who that was carlos so check it out that's all on my channel all that good stuff is on my channel uh let's see and leslie sent some pics okay so let's catch up on this and we'll go to the email craig chipong says he will sell you his garage cup aston martin yeah no i don't want an aston martin i don't want those nightmares uh, sent a pick of some rings. I like to pair with my Oyster Perpetual, her stunner, her stunner, Oyster Perpetual stunner. Craig got booted out of a watch enthusiast. Well, probably because the 002 one trick pony picks. There you go. That's right. That's right. We go for the best. We don't 
go for lesser watches. By the way, Buserv, do you find it funny that Craig still thinks Chip is a made-up character? He's literally famous. There you go. Um, okay, so uh, let's see here. Where is it? Um, something I was going to show. Um, now I forgot. Darn it. Doggone it. I forgot. Oh, boy. Um, well, if I think of it, I'll think of it. So let me go back to the comments. Maybe that'll jog my memory. Um, da, da, da. Um, hmm, okay. Hello. Uh, and all from Madrid. Okay, so Carlos, are you going to call in? We just showed you, Carlos. We just showed you. Are you going to call in? Uh, let's see. And then, then there's some more messages coming in. Okay, we're going to have to pull up the email here. Craig, disorganized ever since he, he got canned from the group. Yes, that's correct. I'm addled. Addled is, it would be the word. Okay. Uh, Chip Wrong is mentioned nearly every week in prominent financial video. <laughs> Uh, Rich, we need more angles, side view, uh, if you have a chance. And Carlos says, okay. Okay, good. So Carlos is going to call in. Let me put the link in the chat here. Hold on. Let me put the link in the chat so that he can get, call in. And maybe he has rings. We're talking about rings today, Carlos. Maybe you have a ring. Let me pull up the emails. <clears throat> I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. What is that, silver? Is it made of silver? I think it would go good with one of your silver stunners, one of your uh, stainless steel stunners. I think it's kind of neat. Yeah, I think it's kind of neat. Simple, but it's kind of neat. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> Well, so Leslie has several rings. She has several rings and they do, they do look nice and they pop with the OP, with the OP, they pop. I kind of like it. I kind of like the several ring things. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. So Carlos is in the house. Let me add Carlos to the stream and let's go to a side by side here. Okay, Carlos, can you hear me? Hello, Craig. How are you? Hello, good, everybody. good. Um, we're looking at the picture. Can you see the picture of Leslie's rings? Yes, yes, I can see. I, I can think see they a nice look. Hand. I think the rings look nice. And there's a question here, Trevor Switch. Did you consider any Toyota Corolla? <laughs> and somebody asked about toe rings. So, who has toe rings? Does somebody have toe rings? Um, it's silver. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so the one that Kyle sent was silver. Hey, we lost you, Carlos. We lost your video. But now you're upside down. Okay, he must be working on his... There, he's, he's vertical. Now he's straight right side up. You're good. You're good now. Um, okay, so let's go back to... Oh, let's put the ticker on. I think I'm I missing... My, I can hear you. Oh, I lost him. Okay, we lost Carlos. All right, so there's that one. Um, and just to remind you guys, where, where is the photo of Leslie when they call, came into the show? I had a photo in here of them. Here it is. Here's Leslie with her watch. Okay, so there's Leslie with her watch. That was the birthday watch. Okay, that's the one she's showing right there with those with those stunners, with those stunning rings. I do like them. I do like them. And now we're going to add Carlos back in. Hopefully, he's got his connection straight. Carlos, we got a black screen now. 
Maybe Carlos is having some internet issues. That's a possibility that he's having some internet issues. We'll see. We'll stay with him and see if he can get in here. Um, and somebody said, Carlos is very missed. Okay, here we got another comment. I had an 18 karat yellow gold signet ring made with custom engraving, but it lives in a safe deposit box with the puzzle ring and stuff from the gold uh, sulks in the 80s when AU was $400 an ounce. Okay, cool. Send me one of the, send me the 18 karat gold signet ring. I'll, I'll give it some use. I'll give it some love. Send that to me. Uh, hi, Carlos. You are very missed. Okay. I think I yeah, already read that. Okay. Will Bree Skype in getting a solid gold belly button piercing? She's not going to get any more piercings. She's, she's, she got rid of the one she had. She's letting it grow in. She had one, but she's getting rid of it. Uh, Derek, uh, maybe for another life. Uh, the thing I love about GS is the unique base and interior. No shared platform or much relation at all with Toyota. Oh, what, what he likes about what he likes about the GS pro real world drive. Yeah. My um, GS 300 was inline six rear drive. I think Carlos uh, standing. Okay. Let's, let's try to bring Carlos in here and see, can you hear us, Carlos? Yeah. 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 Okay. We hear you loud I, and clear. With the Wi-Fi connection or whatever. Okay. We've got you loud and clear now. And uh, let's see, Derek says, I got a Corolla for my daughter years back and I ran up until 2019. They're good cars. Yes, they are good cars. Craig, a uh, free 18 karat gold ring for one of, of, of the wrench gang blue. Let's see what we can work out. Let's see what we can figure out on the signet rings for VIP members of the, of the wrench gang with a special, you know, special engraving for identity purposes. That's what the signet rings are for, is for identity purposes, to verify identity, because there are a lot of imposters out there. And so yeah. we've had a big problem with this, and we need something to physically verify identity. What do you think about that, Carlos? Yeah, but I think, yeah, but considering the thing, I think that we need something more digital. Because it's very easy to to fake that that part. Well, no, I I think it's the opposite. I think if you have if we have the rings custom made at Little Treasury Jewelers, I think it'll be very hard for people to fake it, especially if we don't give them a close look at it. If only we know what it looks like, right? And we use it to identify each other in person, face to face. You yeah. know. It, the only way somebody would be able to copy it would be as if they could get a close look at it. And if they get that close to us, then security will step in and take yeah. care of them. I don't think they're going to get that close. Oh, well, that, yeah, but because I can understand the big motivation to really have a, uh, to invest a lot of time and money to get a real fake Craig that's Lane. right <laughs> they would try they would certainly try yeah, but yeah. that's what we have our security for yeah. um so okay so let's see here um okay so triforce Spirit says by the way don't feel bad for craig he now posts his O2 in every thread in tim's group now he's found a new home i've been posting it in a lot of the groups i've been posting the oo2 and you know what? People are starting to respect the OO2. They're starting to really like it. But and then that they find out what the price is and they <laughs> they they back down a little bit. Uh, Lance says hello, Craig. I'm hoping I get thrown out of the other groups too, so I don't have to waste my time in those groups anymore. Right? It's all a time waste. So mm -hmm. BUSERV says, "Oh no, sounds like Carlos wants digital vaccine passports." Uh oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, and Derek secure. drives a Nissan ZX and a Camaro from the 80s. Also has a Toyota truck. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Okay. All right. All right. So, Carlos, bring us up to date. It's been a while since you've been on the show. Bring us up mm -hmm. to date. What, what have you been doing? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I haven't been able to connect. You know, the, the time zone difference is big like six seven hours and usually to be honest i 
usually at the time of the show or I am with my friends uh, uh, having fun or, or maybe it's, it's late for me. And yeah, mm -hmm. uh, having a lot of... Uh, a lot of fun with with my very close friends here in Spain and with my family. Let's say that I am with my family. Not not a lot of fun. That part of. The and day. how long are you going? How long are you going to be there? How much more time do you have there? I came on July first, and I will be around Spain uh, up to August fifteenth or something like that. That is the idea. Okay, and um, what's the what's the weather like there this time of year? It's summer, summer. Uh, in Madrid, is uh, dry and hot, uh, but yeah, it's uh, so it's not it's not humid there. It's it's a dry heat. Yes, yes. In Madrid, especially, it's very dry. It could be very hot. Uh, I don't. How hot remember. would you say? In in Celsius could be up to forty degrees. I, Whoa, that would be one hundred ten or something like that's that. That's really I'm hot. Sure. Yeah, that's like yeah. Las Vegas hot. Yeah, yeah. Is is that that kind of that kind of, of hot in in summer? And and depending, I've been also sailing around the Balearic Island, around Ibiza. I have been one one week sailing, and we we rented a boat with some friends, and we were around that that part of Spain that is very 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 nice, and and we were very 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 lucky. We had very very good wind, and. Usually, you know, when when you go in a sailing boat, usually you have problems with the wind. Usually, the wind, or you don't have wind, or the wind is too big, or and don't come from the place that you you need to go to to the place that you want to go. And we had very very good wind. We had very very good sailing, and we enjoyed a lot. Uh, there it it used to be a very crowded place a lot of people from europe come to sail on that part of balearic island ibiza is also very very known for the for the clubs and the discos and that kind of thing we we didn't went to any club or any disco we we just went to the to do sailing and some restaurants but uh, yeah, we, we we had a great time, and this time was wasn't very crowded. That sometimes with the boat, as we used to, well, we sleep in the boat usually anchor in a. In there are a lot of small bays. If it's crowded, usually you have yeah, issues or it's more stressing. But yeah, we we had a great time. Good. Yeah, it sounds like you're having a good time. So here's yeah. um, here's the car that Triforce Rich got, the Lexus uh, GS, yeah, uh, GS 350, uh, front engine, rear drive. Um, so, yeah, that's a good one. And yeah. hopefully we'll get some more photos of that coming in. And let's get caught up on the comments real quick. So Lance is wearing his Movado. And let's see. Uh, and he says he'll send a picture. We'll, okay. And so when the Muslims took over Spain, they brought their deserts with them, 110 yeah. degrees. Uh, we get that in California as well. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. A wrench gang motorcycle tri tri trip. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah, I'm, get, yeah I'm getting ready. Yeah. I'm getting ready. Uh, all right. Let's go back to the email here and see. I think we've got another email coming in. By the way, I heard that that tri that Triforce Rich uh, have a, another announcement to do, but I I hope that he he do it soon. Oh, he has a big announcement to do. I think. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Well, he should do it on this channel. He shouldn't do it somewhere else. Yeah, he should. Yeah. He should do it on the channel here. Yeah, I heard. He better hold yeah. that for this channel. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. And Corey says uh, his son, he and his son are leaving tomorrow via yacht. I will be absent uh, from this telecast. Not to worry. I will be back. Well, there you go. He's, he's going on a yacht that's not connected. He doesn't have Internet on his yacht. No. OK, that sounds like poor planning, but OK, we'll let let that go. Um, 
And BU serves, uh, Buser says, uh, if there's a violent revolution in Panama, is Carlos ready to take refuge at sea? Do you have a way to esca escape via sea? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, in fact, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but, but the, the good thing, you know, that, that if it will be a revolution in Panama, the uh, U.S. will come to help it. Uh, it, that is something that is not well known, but when when U.S. return, let's say return or 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 or, or leave the canal to Panama, uh, there was a an addenda on the Torrijos Carter Treaty that in case that there is a situation that the Panama Canal could be compromised, the free flow of vessels on the uh, on the canal. The U.S. can take over it uh, again. That is well, yeah, because that's in the U.S. interest to keep that that canal open. That would be a big problem if that yeah. canal, you know, were shut down or something. Triforce Rich is in the house. He says maybe I should do a car tour and reveal of what Carlos is talking about. For a day, I'm free. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whenever you're free, let us know. We'll we'll do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And let's see, Blues in the House, Carlos will hide in the back room at Little Treasury, Little Treasury yeah. Jewelers. He's been in the back room. He's been in the yeah. in the VIP office at Little yeah. Treasury. Yeah, yeah, the thing is that. Craig, did, Tri is that. did Triforce Rich get any new tattoos? Carlos was actually in the back office with Steve for like an hour, and we were both there while Steve was infected with the thing. <laughs> and neither one of us got it. <laughs> yeah, more than one hour, and, and we had the, the dinner <laughs> after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. Carlos has a strong immune system. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Craig, did Triforce Rich get any new tattoos? I hope not. They said that's the other thing on the tattoo thing. I can think of a lot of things to spend money on before I would spend it on tattoos. That's the other thing against tattoos that I have is my goodness there's there's so many other things I would put ahead of that for resources uh U.S. will protect Carlos he's not worried he's of noble conquistador descent absolutely mm -hmm. he probably has a signet ring hidden away that he uses for special correspondence and so <laughs> forth that he's not telling us about yeah from his uh with his family seal on it yeah, so that's probably, I, I, can, I cannot talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't talk it's about that on a live stream. So private. Yeah. Yeah, but yes. I, I have a ring. I have my marriage ring. Yeah. Okay. And and that's on your left hand? Or you, no, right that's hand. your right hand. In, in Spain, uh, in Spain you wear it on the right. except in the in the in Catalonia, the tradition is on the right hand. Now that looks like a yellow gold ring. Uh, is it yellow gold? In fact, I think that is rose. <laughs> okay, so it's rose gold. So it doesn't match your day date. Yeah. So you're going to have to get another day date so it'll match yeah. that. Yeah. In fact, sometimes it's something that I, when I go to a watch store and they, they told me as the excuse, yeah, and this watch would match your ring. <laughs> I don't care much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's the Movado that um, that Lance is wearing. That's yeah. that's his gold Very nice. Movado. Very classy. Very nice. Very I like nice. that. I like that watch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Trashy Larry's in the house. Says Blue. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, Carlos is going to get Yakuza style a full back tattoo of Craig. <laughs> No, yeah. I, I don't think that's going to... I think he's smarter than that. Um, well, all right, so, well, so, so I, what do you... I will join the Yakuza, or maybe I am part of the Yakuza. I, I will then reveal that anyway. Yeah, if it's the tradition on the group, yeah, I will do it. <laughs> so so <laughs> Boozer says, Craig, does rose gold and white gold combo make your blood boil? Hey, here's the thing. All I can do is try to help people. I can't... I can't force them. This is not this is not a dictatorship. It should be, but it's not. And so all I can do is advise people 
and they, they make their own decisions. And a lot of the people in the horology talk group have been making a lot of bad decisions lately, buying a lot of really ugly watches and paying too much money for them. And I tried my best to help them, but you know, some people just can't be helped. Let's see. Bill Woods is in the house. Craig, do you think Grand Seiko will continue to go so up, up market that some of us will get left behind? I mean, there's still a lot of great Grand Seikos that you can pick up at very affordable prices on eBay, for example. I mean, there's just a some really affordable options. So even as they go a little higher upscale with some newer, some of their newer stuff, I think there are still going to be bargains to be had for quite a while. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it. I, I think you can buy a decent Grand Seiko for anywhere from a thousand dollars on up. Uh, in between a thousand and two thousand, there are a lot of really nice Grand Seikos on um, eBay. Uh, Lance has found a number of them. Uh, uh, would Craig approve of Bree getting a lower back tattoo of the Bitcoin? <laughs> no, 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 no. She doesn't need, maybe we'll get her a signet ring with the Bitcoin logo on it too. A ring would be better than a tattoo. Craig, my Lexus has an analog clock, but it's not yellow gold. Has Lexus lost their minds? <laughs> no, you don't need a, you don't need a gold clock in the Lexus. No. Um, and Trashy Lair says he has many tattoos. Uh, let's see. Um, so anyway, he's, you can, you guys can read the rest of that. Um, and then we've got, I think it's about time. GS makes some solid gold sports stunners with bracelets, real a few pieces. Yeah. But the problem is they don't listen to us. We know what they should make and I know what Rolex should make and, and but they don't listen to us. They're not going to do it. Rolex, for example, should make a Submariner with the same case as the original red subs had and with the modern updated bracelet and everything and call it a day and just, and just forget about that whole super case and modified super case on the 41. Just forget about all that and just go back to the case that the red sub had. And it was gorgeous, mm -hmm. but they're not going to do it. Um, Let's oh, see. By the way, I, ha I have to report that. <laughs> oh, geez. I got a client here. I'm going to have to. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to have to take this real quick. Just hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, um, I'm actually doing a live stream right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, and and I'll be um I'll, I'll be here if you want to call me like after 10 a.m. tomorrow, uh, then we can coordinate something. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. So um, let's see. Lexus. Yeah. What, what I was telling is that I have to report. I think that I've told you, or I think that I've showed you the 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 pocket watch that I have received. That it was from my grandfather, um, mm -hmm. and I, I, I went to the to the to the clockmaker to to make it re revised and to clean it because yeah I assume it it haven't been serviced since the seventies and I uh -huh. really wanted to keep it in good condition yeah and I have it now after the revision. I I like it. The by the way, the the full service of that of that of that pocket watch was uh, wasn't very expensive. Less than I would say one hundred fifty dollars for yeah, full service. And you had it done there in Spain. Yes, yes. It's an yes, eighteen karat gold watch. Yeah, have you seen it? I think so. Or not? Let me see it again. Do you have it handy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. And then I'll go through the comments real quick while you're getting that in. So uh, what if someone agreed to give uh, Brie one Bitcoin? Would you then approve her? I don't think she needs a Bitcoin that bad. And Bitcoin's coming down in price now. It's more affordable. It's below 30000 We'll talk about that, by the way. If it gets down to 24000 I'm going to buy maybe three more Bitcoin live on the show. What do you guys think about that? 
we get down to 24,000, I'll buy three Bitcoin live on the show. Uh, Craig, would you trade the 002 for half of one BTC and a free ambulance that has not been converted? Problem is finding a good ambulance that meets all my criteria is not easy. So for half of BTC, that'd be 20. Yeah, well, yeah, I would do that trade if they could find the right one. But yeah, I, don't, I think that's unlikely. Um, Bill Wood says, I'm waiting on my 2021. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I like it. It's nice and trim. Yeah. It's nice and trim. Um, very attractive. Yeah. It has the logo. This, this was a gift to my grandfather. Uh, he was oh, let me see serving. that part of it. Yeah. Oh, very, very nice. Yeah. He was serving the the board of this of this company. By the mm -hmm. way, I I have also a gift from him that is a, a cuff links with this with this logo too. Very nice. Very beautiful. I love that chain too. That's a very yeah. nice chain. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's very nice. I really like it, and yeah, it's something that. But I, I am very happy that that my my my, my uncles uh, gave it to me as as a yeah uh, something uh, to keep and I I really wanted to to have it serviced to to keep it and yeah it's very very nice I like it just very trim I I maybe I have uh, an opportunity to use it but yeah I like to have it. It's the very nice. Is, I I would absolutely use that yeah. if I was wearing a vest or something. I would absolutely yeah. use it. Yeah. Um, okay. So we got another comment, uh, Bill Woods. I'm waiting on my 2021 Hyundai Palisade. I'm not familiar with those, but I'm sure they're pretty good. What SUV do you like, Craig? I'm not a big SUV fan. If I was going to get an SUV, it would definitely be a Toyota Land Cruiser, but they're getting hard to get. Toyota needs to make the collaboration happen. At least put a GS clock in the Toyota Center. Yes, good move. Craig Tudor is more is more likely to reproduce those old subs. Oh, Tudor is such a total fail. And they keep they keep posting these pictures of these Tudors with ugly hour hands on them. And I'm thinking, what in the heck are these people thinking? Okay, View Serve is the AC3 show. Is this the AC3 show? Probably not. Uh, McAfee connection is slow today. McCaff. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes. I'd love to watch BTC bought live. Okay. I've done it twice on the channel. I bought it at 4,000 on the channel and I bought it at just under 10,000 on the channel. So if I buy it at 24,000, that'll be the highest I've ever paid for any Bitcoin. So we'll see if that happens. If it gets down that low, we'll see. Trevor Switch, if Lexus and Tudor collaborated on watches and cars, would you abandon the brand? Um, man, that would be, I've kind of abandoned Lexus anyway. I don't like their grills on their, on their new cars. I think they kind of screwed up the grill design, but anyway, that's a whole nother thing. Kyle Craig, what about the, the Prevo? Prevo, I'm looking, I'm still hunting for a really nice Prevo with over-the-road air. A lot of the RV prices have gone crazy lately, but um, I'll probably find one. Craig, what's the deal with the Volvo tractor trailers? Bowman Marcia, you know, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, what's the deal with Volvo tractor trailers? I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, Lovely pocket watch, Carlos, says Blue. And Carlos, what brand of pocket watch? Bowman Mercier, he's showing it. And I'm, I'm not caught up on the comments, Carlos. It's like a giant dress watch. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece, that that pocket watch. It would go great with my cashmere um, well, vest To give you an idea of the size, to give you an yeah. idea of the size, it's not very it's, big. it's not. It's a beautiful size. It's not oversized at all. It's perfect, and it's nice and trim. A lot of those pocket watches are kind of thick. You know what I mean? And that yeah. one looks nice and trim. Craig, yeah. would you buy the Bulvagari watch? I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Um, probably I wouldn't buy it, though. Craig, what do you think of the Land Cruiser versus the Lexus LX? 
some of the LXs are very nice and are very similar to the Land Cruisers. That, you know, they're just slightly rebadged. I personally prefer the Land Cruiser, but yeah, if you can get an LX for a better price, then absolutely do it. Yeah, see, it's nice and trim. Um, I found a great channel called Cruising mm -hmm. the Land. This guy owns yeah. every yeah. Land Cruiser and LX ever made. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Craig, if you were to split your favorite pair of pants, would you toss them or repair them? Well, I've got a bunch of pairs of Bill's khakis. So, yeah, I'd just go to, on to the next pair because I've got plenty. Of, I love Bill's khakis. They're just super comfortable, well-made. Um, Carlos, did you buy a Date 8? He's got the same Date 8 40, I think, that he's had. The yeah. white gold date eight forty. Yeah. You didn't buy another one, right, Carlos? No, no. I, I yeah. am very happy with this. I am very happy. With yeah, this. and it's got the um, ceramic pins in the center links, so you won't wear that one out. Yeah. You won't get any mm -hmm. any stretch in that bracelet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that, very, that's a good I one. I am really happy. Yeah, I am really happy with it. Um, yeah, the thing uh, what. It's not the most comfortable uh, watch, in my opinion. I think that is because the the weight of the watch, but it's really very, very nice. Yeah. Triforce Rich says, LX is definitely the better value in the U.S. now. I'm a huge Land Cruiser fan, but the price in the U.S. is frankly absurd. I agree. And it, it's the type of thing where you have to find a Land Cruiser being sold by a private individual maybe on Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist, and you need to get there fast. And if you do, you, can, you might be able to get a decent deal. If you're buying it from a dealer, they're going to they're gonna get all the money because that's just the way it is. But if you could find one from a original owner, one owner, garage kept unit, yeah, I think that would be the way to snag one. Um, Craig, if you have Bill's khakis, then whose khakis does Bill have? <laughs> oh, boy, a little bit of humor. Carlos... You did not tell me when you bought it. You didn't tell Derek when you bought the day date. It was on the show. We talked about it. We yeah. talked about it several times when you were getting yeah. it. I remember you got it in Orlando. Wasn't it Orlando? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in David S.W. Yeah. 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 I yeah, tried we to get it in Panama. I tried to get it in Panama. But uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make a good enough deal. Then I went to Orlando. I spent great time there, and yeah, I got it there. Bill Wood says, where do you recommend a tall guy go for a decent suit? That's a good question. I mean, they do have places that specialize in that, but that's a good question. I just don't know. Um, he says, decent, not crazy. So it probably means he doesn't want to have one made by Oxford. Oxford would make them for you here in the U.S. They still make suits. But uh, that that would probably be kind of crazy. So I'm not. That's a good one. I don't, I'm not really sure. Craig, when are you getting one a day date from the AD? That's a good question. Uh, Craig, would you break off the friendship with Bree if she were to gift you a piece of clothing made in China? Actually, she did give me a piece of clothing made in China, and I told her to return it, <laughs> <laughs> and she did. And I also told her not to spend any money, to save her money and invest it and not spend money. And she learned, and now she doesn't spend money. She saves and invests, and she's building up quite significant wealth for a young lady of her age. She has really done well in the last, let's say, two years, building up some wealth. Craig, I'm in the waiting room. Oh, okay, let's bring Lance in. <laughs> I didn't notice him there. Okay. Hey. Lance is in the house. Say hello to Carlos. Hello, hey, Carlos. Lance. How are you? And uh, let's you. see. Carlos, are you 52 already? Uh, yes, I will be 53 soon. I will. I am already planning a big party <laughs> in the next Yeah, week. Derek said he's 52. Yeah. Me yeah. too. Yeah, and I didn't know that. Yeah, I saw yeah, some yeah. tutors in a Rolex AD shop in Hamburg last week, did not like them. To me, buying a tutor is telling the world that your life did not turn out successfully as you had hoped it would. <laughs> and then you've got people that just buy them on a whim like Carlos. You know, he just 
bought it on a whim. So there you go. And somebody's laughing out loud. Um, why should Bree spend money when she has you? That's correct. A, a young lady shouldn't spend money. The man should should spend the money. The men should spend money on the ladies. The ladies shouldn't spend money on the men. I'm old fashioned that way. Do they believe that way in, in Spain? Is that the way it is in Spain? Does the man treat the lady? Like if yes, you go out somewhere with a lady, is it pretty much understood that the man pays for everything? Yes, definitely. Definitely is something that is, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. There I is mean, no, it wouldn't no even be, about that. it wouldn't even be discussed. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For example, to give you an idea, <laughs> if let's say that my, my father goes out with my, with, with, with my mom and, and for some reason, one of, uh, or, or two friends of her goes to the place. For sure, my my dad will will pay the full the full check. For that's sure, that's correct. That's the way a gentleman. That's the way a gentleman handles the situation. Yeah. Okay, so we have another question. Um, who is the guy in Lance's avatar? Is that an ancestor of his? Yeah, it's not like an ancestor or anything. Um, that is a uh, <laughs> famous painting. Okay, there you go. Uh, Bill Woods isn't Tudor kind of the same level as Oris. I would actually rather have an Oris per, 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 personally. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, Craig, I told you when I was 50 and you said I'm still young, I told you I was in pain at my age, but you put me in my... <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I didn't remember. Trevor's wrist says, Carlos assured me the Spanish woman would pay for me. <laughs> yeah. Only a gigolo, right? A gigolo. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, Rich is Loser a says Oros case. might be better. I agree. Um, Rich is I was a thinking special Oros. case. Rich is a special case, and yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and Triforce Rich, uh, just go for any Corolla instead and save the money. It's a Lexus with another sign on the front. Derek is trolling uh, Triforce. Um, let's see, Carlos, are you wearing the Tudor? No, he's wearing the Date 840. He's yeah, wearing a beautiful Date 840 with a president bracelet. Yeah, I, I and Blue says he's a gigolo. Come, yeah, I just come from, from, I was outside in having dinner with my family. I came, yeah, but, but as soon as I, I, I changed to a more, let's say, casual at home, I, I will change to the, to the, to the, yeah. And Ruzer like says, really Craig, like when are you getting the Pepsi? And I, when I get the call from the AD, I don't think it's going to happen, but uh, Tudor is profane, says Boozer. Okay. All right. So, so what do you think, Lance? Do you think I should get a, um, do you think I should get a signet ring to wear when I'm wearing the 002 stunner? I think that it would match uh, very well, especially one in gold. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and uh, I think that uh, that would look really classy and and it would look good, especially with the full pay bracelet. Kind of be like a little accent. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. Blue's in the house. He says, when is Lance getting a GS? Well, I want to get probably a Submariner first. Mm -hmm. And if I did get a GS, it would probably be a uh, 9F Quartz. One. You should probably definitely get the GS after, because once you get the yeah. GS, you won't want anything else. So it'll yeah, kind of ruin you. Yeah. yeah, any other one. Is very high quality. So. Bill Wood says, if Little Treasury becomes a Tudor distributor, would that end your friendship with Steve? No, I mean, I he, he hey, he's he's in the business to make money. <laughs> If he can make money with that, that's fine. He ain't going to make money from me with it. But Lance, uh, Kyle says, Lance, are you still in the market for GS or are you thinking to go for... Pre yeah, he just answered that, pre-ceramic sub. Are you looking at a, a pre-ceramic sub? Is that what yeah. you're looking at? Yeah, that's probably the one I'm going to get. <clears throat> so you want to keep an eye out in all the local advertising. Yeah, yeah. See if you can snag one from an original owner who doesn't really know what they have. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be your best bet. Yeah. On a local Facebook marketplace or maybe uh, 
Craigslist, or maybe mm -hmm. just start putting some feelers out and see if you can come up with something, right? Yeah. And you never know. Um, let's see. Uh, somebody said Steve wouldn't touch a tutor. Triforce Rich says, I just took a pic of me at the gym with the special surprise. Let's see if you can guess the watch. Okay, we'll take a look at that picture. Uh, Lance, get the pre-ceramic Submariner. And Craig, you should show that GS you sent me the other day. That was great, 9F GMT. Um, yeah, I don't know if I still have that link, Kyle. Sorry. There was a 9F GMT on um, eBay one of the ones with the star on the dial for like less than three grand. Um, that seemed like a pretty good buy. Lance, you can find an older GS9F and at a good price. Yeah, he's found a bunch of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carlos, when can I come to Panama and take a swim in your pool? That's blue. Uh, well, whenever you want, really. Come on down. You are, you are welcome. Uh. All right, I'm reloading my email here so I can get this picture. This is the surprise watch, folks, the surprise watch. <laughs> I don't think anybody can tell from that picture. Let me zoom in. Yeah. <sighs> It's not even zooming in for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a little closer. Can anybody tell what that watch is from that? Can anybody tell? It looks like it might be a Rolex. It looks like it might be an oyster bracelet, but there's quite a reflection on it. We can't really tell what the dial looks like. What do you guys think? Um. It looks like it could be like a day chest, maybe, or it could be a day date. Uh, it looks like almost like an oyster bracelet. Day dates don't. Okay, and that's probably like a day chest. Yeah. Although, I mean, it might be a president bracelet. It's hard to tell. Uh, it looks almost like an oyster, but maybe it's a president. Maybe it's a freaking day date. That would be amazing. So, yeah, we can't, we're not really sure, but it looks nice. It looks like a good size on his wrist. It looks, you know, very complimentary. Mm -hmm. And he looks to be in really good shape for a guy that was almost killed the other yeah. day. So that's yeah. a good thing. Um, uh, I am very grateful. He, he was very, very kind of not, of not having the accident driving me. <laughs> he yeah. picked me up and he took me to the places that we met in, in LA. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, invite TGV to talk signet rings. There you go. Um, that's a GS snowflake. So somebody said it's a GS snowflake. Hmm. Platinum date just. I don't think they make date just in platinum. And Tim says a snowflake. And would I wear a date just Lance? Um, would I, I wear a date just Lance? Wear. Question mark. Yeah, I think okay. that, that, that could be anything, good. says Kyle. Kyle is saying it could almost be anything. And let's see. Let Carlos give clues. Does Carlos know what it is? Does Carlos have inside information? Yeah. Well, uh -oh. it's, it's a... I would say that is my uh, my favorite watch. Is a watch that I really love. So, um, hmm. So none of us have guessed right. Correct. Yeah. So far. Okay. So far, no. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Did Chip Wong finally sell you his really platinum day day? Brief it Dan says, "Good looking guys in the house." There you go. It's a and, very versatile uh, let's see. Watch. Probably, in my opinion, the most versatile watch. With, uh, oh, it's a I very versatile see. watch. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. An Explorer? A, a Rolex watch. Explorer? Doesn't look like it has a dark dial, though. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so Triforce Rich 
Uh, oh, okay. I've been eating a lot to gain my weight back. I lost a lot of weight, so looking healthier. There you go. And it's a white gold AP. It's a, Somebody said it's a Pelagos. I hope not. Um, let's see what else. Craig, if you had picked between Tudor... Craig, if you had to pick between Tudor and Invicta, the, the Invicta 9937 is a pretty cool watch, the, the model 9937. Bingo, nailed it, Craig. Wait, nailed it what? What did I say? Yeah. yeah. He got a uh, uh, um, Invicta? <laughs> hey, yes, Craig, you say the, the watch before? What did I say? Ah, uh, you, you you should remember it. Oh, the uh, most... uh, a um explorer. I said explorer. Yeah, it, it seems like like that. <laughs> well, wait a minute now. It doesn't look like it has a black dial though. Is that just the yeah. reflection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I am noticing that on the on the picture. Maybe 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 he has yeah. Yeah, I, so I so wow! If he got an explorer, that that's a that's that's really cool. If if that's yeah. what he got, mm -hmm. um. So can you send us a better pick? He's going to send us a better pick. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Rolex Oyster Thirty Nine said blue, and somebody's laughing out loud. Uh, they have a white dial explorer. Oh, I didn't know that. Now that would be the explorer too would be the white dial, not an explorer, correct? Yeah, correct. Um, there, was, okay. there was the idea that- Kyle that, says explorer two. Um, okay, so let's see, I'm gonna check my email. Stand by. Oh, wow. I don't know if I should show you guys this. This is so nice. Well, let me zoom in first. Hold on. Let's see how much I can zoom in. Okay. I guess that's about it. Okay. Whoa. That is a freaking stunner. Wow. Stunner alert on the channel. You, you talk about a versatile do-anything permanent watch that yeah. you can basically wear your entire life yeah. you can wear that for dress you can wear that for sport you yeah. can wear that absolutely for anything yeah. it's very legible it's got all the benefits of a sport watch but is thin enough that to be yeah. used as a dress piece it's really yeah, the only piece that i can really say that about that i can honestly say that about yeah. Yeah, and I think that is great. In fact, one of the things that I use most that that watch is for 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 certain professional engagement that you want to wear a nice watch but not let's say very flashy. And yeah, it's it's great. I used to say that if I had to choose one watch as my only watch forever, as my only watch forever, it would be that watch, definitely. Yeah, it absolutely could be that. I'm I'm trying to um get this trying to get it zoomed in more so that but I can't get it centered on the screen for some reason. Um let's see here. Well, I guess that's about the best I can do. But anyway, we all know what it is. It's a, it's it's a, it's the nice one. It's the one that has the 369 with the loom in it. It's mm -hmm. the one that has the longer hands, right? It doesn't have yeah. the stubby hand. Yeah. Uh, so it's the one to get. It. It's. I mean, my gosh, what else can you say? It's. Yeah. It's. I was a bit worried on the beginning when 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 he told me about that because you you know that that Rich is a. We we love him, but but he has a chicken leg uh, wrist. But really, or he has a bigger wrist than what I thought. But it's now, is this one? A, is this wrist. one the thirty-nine? Is this the thirty-nine, or is it the thirty-six? Yeah. 
I think that is the 39, but it's 39. It looks great, good. Great, yeah, the size looks fine on his wrist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't really I was see a, a bit problem. worried about that part, but, but to be honest, but, uh, but once I saw the pictures, it's great. It's great. Now, Carl says we can't see the watch. I, you know, I, I showed it. That you should be able to see it there. Um, yeah, it's an explorer. So, um, yeah. And Blue says, I thought Doxa could be your one watch. <laughs> it's too big, I think, to be an all-arounder. Uh, yeah. Carlos was right about under-the-radar nature. I've worn it couple of meetings and it just works i wear it most of the time now and we'll wear my other pieces for fun weekend yeah i think that can be an all the all the time watch tell us about it was it uh used what give us the backstory on it uh because it looks in real nice shape um give us the backstory on it how'd you get a hold of it it's 439 all day any day over the 36 carl in the house I like both. I like the 36. Uh, I have nothing against the 36. It's a great size watch as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. When you saw me, Carlos, I was a lot lighter for reasons you know. I'm growing again uh, like Pokemon. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Stig's in the house. Blue, it's the Doxa that Carlos really loves. We all know that. <laughs> yeah. No, Carlos, Carlos likes that. Uh, that explorer as well. So yeah. I like it. And so on that note, we're going to wrap this puppy up. We're going to wrap it up and um, I will keep you posted as I continue to research the, the, the signet ring situation and yeah. see if I have a special custom signet ring made a yeah. wrench gang member signet ring yeah. and see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, Oh, somebody Somebody says don't end. I got to. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm yeah. hungry. We uh, can't okay, end Trump now. Rich okay. gave us an update. It was used but in great condition. I traded in my GS to a local dealer. It just wasn't for me. Carlos and I have similar taste in watches. Okay, cool. Good, yeah. good move. Well, you got a piece yeah. that you really like. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't. Uh, I can't fault you for that. So, yeah, enjoy and wear. That could be a lifetime piece, an absolute lifetime piece. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to call it. We're going to call it. Okay. Thank you, Craig. And bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, Lance. Uh, great to see everybody. And, uh, yeah, I, I am missing in a way to be in a time zone to be able to connect more consistently. <laughs> Well, you enjoy yourself. That's it. That's what you should yeah. be doing. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.